Hi everyone, I'm Ann at the Caillou Shop and one of the things that we've noticed people coming in needing assistance with is dealing with hoof abscesses in the horse's feet. Uh, with the kind of weather we've had, it, the ground has been very muddy and very soft and then it freezes and it's very hard, which um, is hard on your horse's feet and causes bruising and bruising can lead to abscessing. So, before one option of treating an abscess instead of doing the traditional soaking your horse's foot in Epsom salts is to actually do a poultice on your horse's foot. And in the winter time, sometimes this works better because you're not dealing with a bucket of water and keeping your horse's foot in it and things are frozen. And you can apply this and then you can leave it on and then you can just change it daily um, and keep that poultice material in contact with your horse's foot. So our traditional Epsom salts are here. Some other poultice materials you could use on the bottom of your horse's foot. You could also do um, an Epsom salt poultice that we have here that's already made up, ready to go. You could do a traditional sugar dine. If you have iodine or betadine, you can take this and mix it with sugar and make a paste and also apply that to the bottom of your horse's hoof. Now, if you're going to do a poultice like this, and put it on the bottom of your horse's feet, you need to use another pad or material to keep that on the bottom of your horse's hoof before you wrap it. So some different padding materials, you could just use like a Tefla non-stick pad. You could also use a baby diaper. You could use a maxi pad. Yeah, pretty much anything that can just keep that material packed in there. Uh, another option is to do a poultice pad. 3M makes these animal intex pads that are actually already cut in the hoof shape to put on the bottom of your horse's hoof. You can also get just the big square of animal intex and then you can cut the actual size that you need. So if you know your horse has got an abscess, you know, towards their toe, you could just put that pad right there. So the next thing that you need besides vet wrap is if, especially if your horse is going to be turned out, you're going to want to keep that on their foot longer. So I recommend doing a duct tape boot that can go on the bottom. So before you start wrapping your horse's foot, you're going to want to have this prepared. There's two different methods that I use to do this. You start by taking your duct tape about a foot. Make sure you're using a non-stick surface that you're gonna be able to pull this off of that's fairly clean so that you don't get the bottom of your duct tape all dirty. Right here I have this wood table. Um, a plastic cutting board would also work as something you could maybe easily bring from home if you have to treat your horse or you could just have it in the barn. So you just start by putting one piece horizontal and then put one piece vertical and then you put a piece horizontal again. You could actually do it this way if you wanted, whatever works best for you. Anyways, you just keep going back and forth making this lattice pattern, okay, until you end up with something like this. Okay, so that would be the completed one and then Another alternative to doing one like that, you could make a pyramid. So you could have it like this, where you go with a longer piece and then a shorter piece and a shorter piece. The lattice one is more durable and gonna last longer during turnout, but maybe if your horse is in the stall and you wanna keep it on, but you know, you're gonna be there, you're gonna take it off. Maybe you don't have a lot of duct tape. This is another way you could do it that also works. Okay. So now to my horse's foot. I have this lovely model here. And I'm going to use the animal intex pad. To use this, before you would start, you would put this in some water, just like a shallow feed pan would work, and then squeeze the water out. When you put it on the bottom of your horse's foot, you make sure that the plastic is towards the bottom. Here's my horse's foot. And then I would have handy a roll of that wrap. So it's just doing this on a fake hoof actually is almost as awkward as doing a real horse's hoof. So I'm gonna go around when I wrap them, 
I just try to get started going all the way around a couple times so that it stays. And then I go around the toe. And then come around and crisscross it again, across the toe again. And then maybe I go back around the back of my horse's foot. And I just want to get it so that I'm going to secure my poultice material, whether it be a sugar dine, whether it be an Epsom salt poultice, you know, whatever material you're using to draw that abscess out. I'm just going to bring it all the way around. Now, I'm kind of wrapped up maybe a little awkwardly here up my horse's hoof. Maybe I'd have that a little farther down if I was actually doing this on a real hoof. Now, if I was doing this one with the pyramid, I would put my horse's foot in the middle and then bring all the sides up, but I wanna show you, and then I would go with duct tape around to cover the top to secure this, but I really wanna show you how to use this one, okay? So I would look, you know, approximately where my horse's foot is gonna go, and then I wanna take some scissors and cut from the corner, okay, to where my horse's hoof is gonna be in the middle. Oops, and it's kind of sticky, so it's not really totally cooperating. And then I'm gonna cut this one. So that's approximately, maybe I could have cut it a little more in. And then you're gonna take this and put it on the bottom of your horse's hoof so that you can bring this up. Okay, and bring it around. And then you can bring it up. Now I'd probably, you know, I might have my horse's hoof like this. If your horse stands good, you could probably just set their foot right on the tape and have them stand there. But I'm just gonna bring all these pieces up around the horse's hoof. If I have some extra, I'm maybe gonna cut this extra off so it's not all up there. I really don't wanna have the duct tape directly on my horse's hair or skin, right? So this one maybe turned out a little big for the size of this horse's hoof. Remember, it just needs to keep the poultice on and stay on. It doesn't have to look beautiful. I can take it down and then I can take my duct tape again. And I can go around the outside a couple times to just keep this on my horse's foot. Okay. And you can do it like that. Another option, if you are dealing with a really especially stubborn abscess, or maybe you were saying, well, I'm really using a lot of duct tape, you could also do a hoof boot and you could use that to put your poultice material in and wrap with duct, um, wrap with vet wrap and then put that on your horse's feet. We also have those in various different sizes that you could use to also keep um, a poultice material on your horse's feet. So I hope that this was an informative video and if you have any questions, please stop down and um, ask us and the knowledgeable staff here will get you what you need.